where do you see the future of this industry headed, things being digitized like the painting? Oh, it's like music to my ears, right? Because you are now getting us paid faster. Yeah. Right? At the end of the day, you're not hurting us at all. If anything, you're facilitating that speed, like you said, because that's the biggest challenge that we all face is how quickly can that check hit my desk? Welcome back to Jeep and It Real. I'm Ryan Holiday with the lovely Millie Varela of Black Diamond Services. And Millie, tell us about the experience conference here, the restoration remediation conference and Black Diamond Services. How are you guys helping the restoration industry? Well, thank you for that warm welcome. We are here at the experience. It's our first year attending. We are so happy. Honestly, we've made great connections. And I think it was very receptive to the audience because we've gone through a lot of changes in just a few months, right? Yep. So with all of those changes, people can either see it as a negative factor or a pivoting factor, right, for their business. And that's exactly what we did. We said, okay, there's a problem, there's legislation changes. We have to plan a plan of attack on how we can, you know, be by these businesses sides so that they can stay open, they can still obtain cash flow and keep the, and keep running their businesses. So we implemented estimating billing and collections because we have been doing billing and collections for all of this, these years for ourselves. So we're like, why aren't we doing it for others? And you already know, like if documentation is not superb, then your cash flow is affected. And so we wanted to definitely like bridge that gap of having businesses send out estimates to carriers and then potentially run the risk of not collecting. Now you guys started off doing uh, Schedule D ALE coverage, right? And, and funding for those scenarios for homeowners who were displaced after an event. Right. And now you've expanded to estimates, final billing as well, which, yes. is, which is awesome. Certainly something that a lot of folks need in the industry and when you're running and gunning, you know, you don't want to slow down to have to take care of that administration. So kudos to you guys for handling that for the contractors. Thank you. Tell me, since the laws have changed here in Florida over the last year, and especially since Hurricane Ian, what are the, uh, I mean, besides cash flow, are there any other uh, significant challenges that contractors are facing in the industry? I mean, I think it all ties into the cash flow, right? It, it, Unfortunately. It all, all comes back to the money, yeah, right? Yeah, it I does. Because we're all a for-profit business, right? And we want to do good work, do honest work, and get paid on, on time, right? At a reasonable time. And so I think that it's inevitable, but the cash flow does get affected. And how it has affected us is, and I think other contractors, is the whole AOB law. Yep. Like, now you no longer have rights to fight for your money. So it is so important on why circling back to our services is to have right resources, like yourself, like Inc., you know? Without these resources and these vendors, contractors aren't able to run their business effectively, you know? and. Yep. Any kind of little bump on the road is a delayed payment mm -hmm. or a delayed claim. Because if you're not submitting a estimate that is up to par and IRCRC standards and writing great opening and closing statements, then you're not going to get paid. Out of uh, all the problems, it sounds like cash flow is, is the most important yeah. across the board. You know, certainly one of the things that we've done at Inc., especially on the back end of the job, is we've partnered with a company called Level Set so we can help out with, you know, the lien filings when it comes to that point. Mm. We'd rather not, right? But we all know that there are a lot of contractors that get taken advantage of, they come out, they do work, and then they just don't get paid by the homeowner. And so we have to help protect those funds because we're still dealing with that paper check. Right. So hopefully the day that we are able to get rid of that paper check, there won't be a need for an AOB or there won't be too much of a need to be filing those liens because people are getting squarely with that money on the back end. So exactly. you always have to adapt and, and, and obviously to keep your business going. So what are some of the key takeaways from the Restoration Remediation Conference and the experience here that you learned this week? Truthfully, there's a whole different group of people <laughs> that come to this event. Yeah, no. That it's... do not attend other events, you know, all the other conferences. These are a lot of new faces. Yeah. And it's actually really refreshing because what I really like most about the experience is that these people are coming here to take something back with them, right? Yep. They're intentional about being here. They're intentional about connecting with vendors on how that will help them scale their business, whether it's cash flow, whether it's, you know, management or endorsements of checks, whatever it is, they really are intentional on connecting with them. And I think that 
the experience has done a phenomenal job in putting this together and making this a valuable event for everybody. Yeah, I agree. I, I've seen a lot of um, companies that aren't in restoration coming here because they want to get involved in restoration. Mm -hmm. They're trying to expand their services and expand their wheelhouse so that way, increasing the amount of business that they could be capturing and certainly restoration is one of them. A lot of folks are scared to get into the industry yeah. because of the challenges that your company and our company you know, solve on a daily basis for these folks. So, uh, super exciting to be here and sharing the experience with them. Absolutely. So let's talk about the future of the restoration industry. I know one of the things that we are working to solve, obviously, is getting rid of that check. Mm -hmm. We actually did an internal study with a top 10 carrier. I can't say who it is, but we did an internal study with them, and they said, guys, if we would have had the ink integration at our, at our company, and issued payments through Inc., your technology would have saved us about six to eight million dollars in Schedule D ALE coverage for that year. Obviously, you guys make money off the ALE right, right. coverage, and so uh, not that we want to take that business away, but we're speed to cash, right? And yeah. so getting people paid without that check, getting more money to the folks that have already done the work and have yes. already provided those services, that's our end goal. Where do you see the future of this industry headed with changes like that and things being digitized like the payment? Uh, it's like music to my ears, right? Because you are now getting us paid faster. Yeah. Right? At the end of the day, it's not you're not hurting us at all. If anything, you're facilitating that speed, like you said. Because that's the biggest challenge that we all face is how quickly can that check hit my desk and yep. I can deposit it or, or my bank, right? And so it'll be an ACH. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So for us it's we have promise payments, mm -hmm. but from the day that they promise payments, it could be two, three, four, five months that we don't get a check. Yes. Or the craziest part is they now send it to the homeowner and the homeowner has to send the check to us. And it's just this whole revolving thing of yep. delays. So technology is phenomenal. And I love that you guys are doing this and that you guys are innovative and you have such a robust um, company. For me, I'm so happy about this. And awesome. I can't wait to look forward to, to a future of just having that speed for payment. Well, you made an interesting comment yesterday when we were having a conversation about it, and you said, well, maybe if the carriers actually <laughs> paid up as they should and uh, were fair to their insureds, then yeah. we wouldn't have to deal with that issue so much. So, Absolutely. Great information. Thank you so much, Millie, for stopping by the Jeep today and yes. jeeping it real with us. <laughs> we'll uh, see you at the next conference. I know you're traveling quite a bit, and yes. you're pretty much at every one of the events. What's, what's the next event that you're going to? I know the experience is happening in September in Vegas. In Vegas We're yeah. definitely looking into that. Hope you guys can join. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't know what my next event because it's just <laughs> randomly know, pops goes. up, you know? Yep. So, yep. but yeah, definitely on the road. Millie, tell us where everybody can find you. Where can they find Black Diamond Housing Services? Yes, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Black Diamond Services underscore. And you can visit our website at blackdiamondservices.com where you'll find all about our services. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. and. I always love to speak to you. Thank you, Millie.